Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Linda Koch Lorimer. Wow. Catherine, my thanks to you and to the board of the Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame. It is simply thrilling to be saluted between two women who have been remarkable public servants across the political aisle. Barbara, who opened, as we heard, the federal government doors wide open to greater women's empowerment and participation. And my own Congresswoman, I use the personal pronoun my with great pride. With so many in Congress in recent years throwing up their hands and just retiring, our Congresswoman has been tenacious and courageous in serving us and uncompromising in calling for our country to be its better self. Rosa, you have long been a heroine to me, as I know you know, and it is a special honor to share this evening with you. And I think all three of us who are here have a special sense of attachment to our new sister, Augusta, who we honor in absentia, whose values represent so much of the pioneering spirit that this Hall of Fame serves to reward and to honor. Tonight is about empowerment, and I will be uncharacteristically personal. The video was truly an overwhelming valentine but it missed a thing or two of what has powered me. First, my family, my amazing husband, Charlie, and my incredible kids, Kelly and Peter, who have weathered a lot for me to pursue the professional life that I have chosen. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Second, the video didn't capture my reliance on and my devotion to my extended family, the individuals with whom I have been privileged to serve. I have been the beneficiary of not just teams, but platoons of people who care to make outstanding contributions to Yale, to higher education, and to a set of other important organizations I have been fortunate to serve. These teammates start with my deputy of 19 years, Martha Highsmith, and Michelle Koss and Jose Arat, who improve my every single day, and include all those from Yale who have been a joy to work with. However, the phrase work with doesn't seem quite right, because it doesn't capture the sense of collaboration we have. And that sense of caring and contribution characterizes the civic organizations where I have been embraced and reveled in rolling up my sleeves to try and make a difference. Say the Children USA, to the Community Foundation of Greater New Haven, to Yale Women Globally. Tonight is also about education. My most important educational experience was at Hollins, my treasured women's college in Virginia. There I learned that women's ways of working knowing and leading are powerful, sometimes subversive, and often transformative. The work of this Hall of Fame is an endorsement of the sisterhood, the sisterhood of all who have tried and failed, all who have tried and succeeded, tried new things, but mostly tried to make a difference, tried again and again. We have a lot more work to do, as Barbara said, on behalf of women, but anything is possible for the kind of talented and persistent women and our good guy friends who fill the hall tonight. Thank you for all that you do for our commonwealth, and thank you for this great honor. <laughs> 